Hey guys, so today I am going to walk you through how to replace belts on a Bissell carpet cleaner, and this is the Pro Heat 2X model. So or these instructions will apply for all Bissell Pro Heat 2X models, and the 2X means it's got the dual brush roll uh, drive system. So, so first you wanna take your tank off, get that out of the way. So the first thing you're going to do is remove the top screw here and set that aside and that is a short screw and then you're going to lift up here and take your nozzle off. So the next thing you're going to do is take off the screws on the side cup. You're going to remove these two screws right here. I'm sorry, this one and this one. You can flip it over, this will come off. This will, will just pull right off. And you can flip it over and, and take the other cover off. Now this model has this little clean shot thing. Now if you're replacing just the drive belt, you don't have to take this off, but for the sake of the video, you may have to be replacing both belts or maybe just the, the one on this side. So I'm going to walk through how to do the whole process and then you can determine whether or not um, which part of the instructions you need to follow. So on this particular one, it's got this little spot shot thing. And so I'm just going to take this and pull it off and then You have to pull this out in order to pull pull this out, out out of the way. Now, in my case, I'm actually replacing this because my customer um, had this break. So that's why I'm taking this off. If you did not have that break and you're just accessing the belts, then you can leave this um, connected just like that and just have it hang in there. Now on this side is your drive assembly. So what you have here is you have your actual drive motor that's spinning this shaft and that is connecting, that has a belt that's connecting um, to the first brush roll, so or the back brush roll. Um, and so the way this mechanism works is it has a belt connecting to this brush roll. Then on the other side, you have these two brush rolls linked together with this belt. Now in my experience, most of the time, it's the short belt that is the one that's breaking. So, and again, this is gonna just depend on uh, what you find when you open up your machine. So the first thing we can do is we're gonna take off this screw right here. This is a stainless steel screw that has kind of a washer built into it. So you wanna set that aside. Then at that point, this plastic cover here is going to um, lift out of place. Just like that. And then now you have access to your belts. Now, if your brush roll, if it's just the short belt that is broken, then you can stop here, replace this belt, and don't even pull these out. Don't even pull that other side apart. You can just leave it as is and you'll be okay. As long as you can spin these brush rolls like this, you know that your other belt is intact. So, um, that's how you would know if the other belt's broken is if you had like just the back brush spinning and the front brush was not spinning, then you would know it's your big belt that's broken. I've never seen that because typically what happens is, um, well, I don't know if I've ever seen that, but usually it's the drive belt that breaks because the motor is what breaks off the uh, teeth of the belt. So anyways, uh, comment below if your large belt is broken. Um, that would be information I'd be interested in hearing. So anyways, um, if your if your little belt is broken, then this is how as far as you need to go. Then you can just replace the low, uh, lower belt and then put it back together. And I will detail that here in a minute. Uh, and if that's as far as you want to go, then you can just skip um, to the next part. But I will walk a little further. Um, some of you might be in the situation where you want to clean this and you want to take it apart. Um, and this machine definitely needs to be cleaned. So um, I'm going to take it apart and we're going to do a little bit of cleanup 
and uh, and you can follow along here. So go ahead and uh, so then you can you can actually just lift your brush rolls out of place. Now um, you kind of have to feed the belt off of it down below, and um, so you just pull this brush roll up as you're making sure the belt is feeding off, and then you can take this off. And you're gonna find a um, stainless steel washer here on, on both sides. So you wanna hang on to those washers. Okay, now this brush roll is actually identical on either side, so you don't have to like mark it. Um, it can attach on either side. Um, then from there you can pull out the second one and you wanna hang on to your uh, stainless steel washer. This one's kinda stuck in there. So I'm going to just grab it like that to pull that out. I'll set that aside. So now I can clean these brush rolls. Oh, this one here has the stainless steel washer that's stuck in there. The first one, the stainless steel washer is still right down here. So I'm gonna take that off. All right, so now I can flip it over. I can pull this belt off. And this is the large belt, so you have two belts, and the part numbers I will put in the description. So if you're curious on what part numbers to order, um, then I will uh, put that description for you. Then for this assembly, this is your holder, and the only reason I'm gonna take this out is because I'm gonna clean it. So take this other screw out, and then this just lifts out of place, okay? So I will go ahead and wash all this down, and usually this stuff cleans pretty easily. Um, you just wanna be careful not to get any water intrusion right here around where this motor is. So I'm gonna just rinse um, this area and take a toothbrush and kinda of wash it and clean it real good and uh, dry it off. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and now we have the brush rolls clean and the little end caps clean, and then underneath the machine is nice and clean other than that so now for this step here basically what you're going to do is you're just going to follow your steps in reverse so we're just going to reinstall this end piece here and put the screw in and then we're going to flip it over actually I take that back. We're gonna go ahead and install this other end piece. Again, if you have the spot shot, you may have left this connected. Um, it probably would have been easier if you're planning on cleaning it, would, have been, would be easier to just take it off completely. So in my case, I did take it off, and so we're gonna attach that spot shot piece back in, and go ahead and install this in place. The spot shot little shooter has a little locator tab right there. See the little piece sticking out here? That locates at the very bottom, just so it doesn't twist. Okay. And then you have the long screw that goes in right here. And the short screw that goes in here. I'll put those. And then just install your little cap. It should have clips. This one, the clips were broken. And I don't know if I can get that part or not. If I can, I will get it for my customer. All right, now flip it back over and hopefully this is the right angle for everyone to see, the best angle. So. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your two stainless steel washers onto the shafts. Then you're gonna take your brush roll, and you're gonna, I'm sorry, then you're gonna take your belt and you're gonna slide one brush roll in. And then you're gonna get your next brush roll and do the same things, so just slide it in place. And I'm gonna turn the machine so you can see this. I like to do it with it facing up like this because 
I have gravity on my side. In other words, the brush holes aren't going to be like falling out of place constantly against me. But for the sake of the camera, I'm going to try to work it like this. But basically what you have to do is you need to get this belt around both brush rolls. And you might find it effective to do it differently than this, but as long as you get both if as long as you get the belts on properly, then it's okay to do it differently than I'm showing you. But this is the way I found it to be easiest. So I get them connected. Um, like this, I get the brushes connected with the belt and then I'm going to slide them down in place. And this is where looking at it up top to make sure these shafts are lined up to go through the bearings here is important. And then you have to kind of jump, you have to jump this belt a little bit over the black piece. So on the other side, on the other side, you have like a little lip that you have to get your belt fed over because it won't push in place easily. It's a little bit of a pain, but you have to just kind of feed it on while also making sure you're not pushing the belt off of the brush roll. Okay, so you can see I've got the brush rolls down in place. They're completely aligned and then my belt is still intact, which you can, you'll be able to tell because your brush rolls, you'll be spinning, you can spin one and then the other one will spin uh, exactly the same and it won't they won't be difficult to spin okay so next you're going to take your small belt and line it up here and get it onto the motor shaft like that and then you're going to take your stainless steel washers slide them in here and then you're going to line up these shafts and this part's a little tricky because you got to line the shafts up. You have to align both brush roll shafts with in these holes and also this spot here on this pin. So yeah, you want to line this up. So you're going to set this install this one first cuz it's the lower of the two of the three holes and then you're going to kind of put some tension on the belt and then slide this down in place okay and then you can test just spin it you know make sure everything feels good it'll have more resistance now at this point because you're actually spinning the motor here um, but you just don't want to make sure it's not bound up um, that your everything's in line properly okay now go ahead and install your screw hold this in place and you're gonna put your other end cap in place big screw in the, up top and then a little screw okay and then the last thing you're going to do is install your nozzle here and this has these little hooks and they will insert into the um, opening just to kind of give you a visual of what you're trying to accomplish is you're going to hook that into there and then clip it up top. So, so you want to first find those little openings and and then hook it. I have to lift it usually because there's a little bit of a clip. And then it clips in place and then your screw hole should line up perfectly. And then you have one more short screw to put down on there. All right, so I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please give me a like or a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. Also, this is what I do for a living. And so if you found this valuable and you appreciated it and you wanted to show me your appreciation in a monetary form, then I will leave my uh, PayPal link in the description. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.